stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents Region 2192 will not let up. Solar Maximum Year 3. The sun sends you a bouquet of roses. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our third X-Class solar flare in three days. Shazam! Now this is not do me because these are solar flares, not coronal mass ejections. But it is a sign the sun is going through one of the craziest, longest solar maximums ever. And not only has AR-2192 been active with solar flares, it's been active with all kinds of activity. It's just a jumping and a jiving. Our third X-Class flare in three days. Our first was a 3.3. Our second was a 1.0. And now, on October 26th, 2014, at 10.56, solar flare alert. We got another one. We had a strong X2O detected at 10.56, universal time. The source of the flare event was sunspot 2192. Maybe uh, the sun is just a star egg. And then when it cracks open, it releases like a hundred stars, little baby stars. Are baby stars cuter than adult stars? That's a serious question. I need to know the answer. Someone call a stellar professional. Now, I want you to pay special attention to the looping over here. Look how well defined that is. And if you stare at the filament, it almost looks like it's alive. There's just filaments hanging off the sun. Awesome, man. Eh? And watch this little patch dancing over here. But a few different color than everywhere else. Interesting for sure. Region 2192 will not let up. Attached image below courtesy of the Solar Dynamics Observatory. It captures the fifth X-Class solar flare around the active region. This time an X2O peaking at 1056 Sunday morning. A strong R3 radio blackout was observed on the sunlit side of Earth. The latest event so far appears to have failed once again in producing a coronal mass ejection. With the exception of producing bright flashes of energy, as magnetic fields tangle, the magnetic layout and structure of the region is having a hard time releasing plasma. Maybe the sun has run out of plasma. And it does seem that October is by far the most active month in cycle 24 of the solar cycle this is still my favorite camera watching it grow is mesmerizing and then it's like there's a little guy in there going hello hello crazy days are here again of roses i think the most amazing thing about sunspot 2192 is just watching it move and grow and shape and that's insane it almost looks like sun could cave in the yin fighting the yang and I saw a report saying that um the sunspot had lost 10% of its size. I don't see that. Must have been in dark matter. Another thing. Anybody remember a couple months ago when there was the giant sunspot that stayed there for a couple months? I think they renamed it three times. I wonder if we'll see that again. Did you, you notice that little white dot in the middle? It kind of just kind of resurfaces like a methane lake. And, it, and it's a fish or a turtle. It's a dark matter methane like turtle. I wouldn't be surprised to find extremophiles on the sun. Well, I'd be surprised we found them. Wouldn't be surprised they were there. Sunspot 2192. How did you get the moves like Jagger? Ooh, that one looks cool. Looks like a man with elephantitis in the testicles, which I imagine is a horrible problem. Hey, it's one party in yin, yin and yang, eh? Probably a solar ham. No, it's not food. It does sound delicious. I am a solar ham. That's for sure. Wow. See, look at that. Look at this perfect loop structure. That's incredible. Yeah, that, that's right now as I'm taping this, and that is incredible, man. I've been getting loopy over the loop lately. Right here, you can really see it. Wow, now it looks like it's snaking all the way over. Stair hasn't been updated for four days. Three or four. That's distressing. Filaments aren't usually that tight. Yeah, that was a big one. That is what she said. That region's acting pretty weird. This region over here seems to be active as well. Yes, it do. That is nutty.